The Russian Tu aircraft family includes Tu-95, Tu-22, and Tu-160. All three are capable of long-range missile strikes. One of the symbols of the Cold War is the Tu-95 bomber, also known as the Bear. This aircraft can launch both cruise missiles and nuclear weapons. The bomber may take off in any weather. The need for long-range aviation in the Soviet Union was recognized immediately after the Second World War, when the global confrontation with the United States began. It was then that this Tu-95 Bear was built. It was accepted into service in 1955 and was the main competitor of the American B-52. The B-52 was developed around early 1950s and is still the main long-range bomber aircraft of the U.S. force. The turbopropeller giant Tu-95 can travel up to 14,000 km. Both the internal and external designs are still quite old-fashioned. The crew consists of seven members. There are few computer systems and most operations are done manually. The aircraft may carry up to eight missiles. Despite being terribly outdated, Tu-95 still performs its function and will remain the main strategic bomber of the Russian Air Force till at least the 2040s. As of 2020, Russia has 60 Tu-95 aircraft of various modifications in service. In the process of modernization, a more modern navigation computer system and an integrated control system were installed on the Tu-95 MSM. The Tu-95 MSM bombers were modified to use KH-101 and KH-102 stealth missiles. The weapons bay was expanded. And four universal pylons appeared under the wing each of which was designed to carry any of the types of missiles in the Tu-95 and Tu-160 arsenal. In the 60s, the Soviet aviation industry created Tu-22M3, missile carrier with jet engines. It was given nickname Supersonic Boost Carrier because of its 320-liter tank, carrying a mixture of 40% ethanol and 60% distilled water, effectively vodka. The mixture was used to cool the air before it could be pumped into the cockpit. The cooling effect was provided by a large total loss evaporator running on the mixture. The Tu-22M3 is considered the fastest long-range bomber in the world, with the top speed of about 2,000 km per hour. The Tu-22M3's multi-mode wings fly in different modes. The bomber can spread its wings and change the speed. Tu-22 is difficult to manage during takeoff and landing as everything requires a lot of attention when preparing for a combat mission. The Tu-22 was designed to destroy enemy aircraft carriers. For that purpose, the bomber carried extremely specific KH-22 missiles, 
capable of breaking through the air defense of enemy aircraft carriers, using high altitude and high speed to its advantage. The KH-22 can climb to a height of up to 22.5 km and can accelerate to Mach 4. Once at about 60 km from the target, KH-22 goes into a dive and turns off its engine, drifting at a speed of Mach 2 towards the target. The Tu-22 M3 may also be used strictly as a bomb carrier. The maximum bomb load of the Tu-22 M3 is 24 tons of which up to 12 tons go into the internal bomb bay and another 12 tons go under the wings. Last but not least is the Tu-160. Another Soviet development, Tu-160, also known as the White Swan, is the largest and the most powerful supersonic and variable wing aircraft in the history of the military aviation. It is also the heaviest combat aircraft in the world with the highest maximum takeoff weight of 45 tons. This world's fastest bomber was a response to the American B-1 supersonic strategic bomber with variable sweep wings developed in the 1970s and 80s. The Tu-160 can carry up to 12 missiles, can launch them in a short time, and can reach speeds of over 2000 km per hour. It has a much more modern-looking cockpit than its predecessors Tu-95 and Tu-22. The aircraft is much better controlled by a joystick and there are 130 different computer systems within its control system responsible for various functions. The Tu-160's flight range is about 12,000 km and, if refueled regularly in the air, Tu-160 is able to stay in the air for more than a day. Currently, the Russian Air Force is armed with 17 Tu-160s strategic bombers. Each operating aircraft of this series has its own name. In December 2022, an improved strategic missile carrier Tu-160M took to the skies for the very first time. The updated Tu-160M is a transitional version of a new generation of strategic bomber missile carriers, which will appear in service in 2027. It is expected this new aircraft will replace the Tu-95, Tu-160 and Tu-22M3 strategic bombers.